Hi everyone, Brandon Faison here at the Salvation Army Center interviewing Mr. Patrick Lyons and Jonathan Seguil. So can you tell us a little bit about what the organization is and what you do specifically? Um, we don't have one target program. Um, we help seniors, children, families, uh, pretty much from uh, cradle to grave, we're involved in serving the community. Salvation also uh, does a lot of things for the youth. We have the Kids Cafe program in here. It's one of our biggest uh, programs that we do around here. We serve how many kids do we have in there? I think we have about 100 kids. About 100 a day. kids a day. Uh, a day. That's a lot. So, uh, what's the age range about? Um, like, what's what are the age range of the kids that come here? Starts with kindergarten all the way up to middle school. Although 40 percent of our kids right now are kindergartners and first graders. Wow, that's, <laughs> you start off pretty early, I guess. Got them working. It teaches you patience. <laughs> lots and lots of patience. That's true. Can you tell me a little bit more about the uh, bell ringing event? So it's all volunteer driven. Um, everything we do here, we're about to, in two days, we're going to be feeding 600 meals to people in the community, all run by volunteers. And uh, Christmas is just the same. Uh, right around 2,000 hours we have available for people to sign up to ring the bell, and we're working to raise $40,000 this year. At least, that's what At we least. meant. <laughs> okay, we're not capped to that one in there, but we want to get more, and we do need a lot of volunteers in there. What the volunteers do is that they come in here and report, or report to where the stations is for the bell ringing, like the Safeway, the malls, and us, all the other room they would be assigned to. So uh, we would like to see them uh, volunteer. We only need a couple of hours of their time, or they can take the whole day if they want, you know, but uh, minimum at least a couple of hours of their time. And they can bring their friends, and uh, they get to meet their friends while they're ringing bell and raising money for, uh, for a good cause. So on December 1st, a website comes live. Uh, it's called salinas125.com. And we're looking for 125 people who are willing to give $125 a month uh, for the entire year next year. And uh, once January comes, they're off the hook. Uh, but it's just kicking off our 125th anniversary of service to Salinas. The one thing I can say is that we have a big bulletin board uh, set up that has all the slots. And probably about 80% of the days are empty. It takes us about 2,000 hours uh, to completely fill every spot between the day after Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve, and right now we've signed up about 380 hours. That's a lot of hours. I imagine us uh, high school kids really need those hours, you know, rushing at the last minute. I know I did. Uh, we are equal opportunity volunteer people, and so we just welcome high school families, organizations, uh, high school organizations, it's a double whammy. They can support their organization at school and uh, get some of their graduation hours in place. Of course. So, can you tell me a little bit more about some of the other events you have going on here? Uh, well, a huge one. Uh, well, actually, this next uh, Sunday, uh, we're going to be kicking off our 125th anniversary. We're serving the Salvation Army in Salinas at the Parade of Lights. Uh, we have the Share Your Holiday for KSBW, where people can show up at the place and bring toys and come visit us there. Um, we're going to be distributing toys over probably around 4,000 toys uh, to kids in the community. So we have a busy, busy season ahead of us. I'd imagine. And the Share Your Holiday, uh, people can uh, make the call, make the pledges, you know, we, uh, we need those. And that would start from uh, I think 11 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the evening. So we hope you call and uh, and uh, give your support. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much.